All right, welcome to uh, Spotlight Chicago. Now, listen, you're never too old or too young for games, and today is the perfect day to play. It is National Board Game Day, and local inventors Joe Barrett and Bob Camp join us with more. Gentlemen, thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. So I just went to my first adult-only <laughs> board game night. I forgot how fun board games are. It's super <laughs> fun, and you guys have stuff for all ages, but let's yes. go through some of these. You're both local board game inventors. This yeah. is so yeah. cool. What is this? So this is the Donut Challenge. It is a family party game where you do over 100 minute to win it type challenges using these fun donut components. Uh -huh. Uh, I was going to put you on the spot. Do you want to try one? <laughs> do we? <laughs> we'll do one yes. of these. What yeah. is this? These cups right here? So these cups. You show so us you're going to gonna, you're gonna take the, your donut hole, yeah. okay. put it on, the, on your coffee cup, flip it in the air, oh boy. and you got to catch it in the cup. Oh. You're the creator. That's no <laughs> fair. Right. Okay, go, All right, here go. I go. Here I go. Go. Oh! oh. We'll count what does it. that we'll mean? Count it. We'll count it. Oh, yay. Nice. Awesome. This is fun. Oh, great. I okay. like this. And it says, do not, as in donut, do give it. up. Don't give up. We love our donut. <laughs> I love so it. Cute. Okay. Love okay. It. And then we have wrong answers only. Yeah, wrong answers only. We took that social media trend and we put it to a game. Yeah. Uh, so you get a, a prompt question like, what is Fireball Whiskey made from? Mm. And then people can write <laughs> funny wrong answers like we put... Uh, the souls here. of college frat boys, <laughs> oh, the devil's armpit sweat. And oh then the person gosh. that collects the answers has to pick their favorite. No, you have, to, oh, no. you have to try to guess who wrote which wrong answer. Oh, oh. okay, so a little different. A little oh, different, yeah. wow. tricky. What does yeah. awesome sauce taste like? <laughs> Sarah and G. <laughs> Duh. Hello. I was um, going to say Sarah will not say ketchup because she doesn't <laughs> like ketchup. Before we get to your games, too, how do you guys get into this? How does one become a game inventor? Wow. I, I don't know. I just. Uh, I mean, because you a, were a former attorney. Crazy. Yes, former and attorney. you were in finance. Yep. Yeah. So. But yeah, there's inspiration everywhere. And if you grow up playing games and you think, oh, this could be a game, and then you you make it and, and hopefully somebody says oh it seems like a good idea and then yeah it's tough it's kind of a tough road to hoe but no but um, you've done it and this yeah. is one blank slate blank slate you just mentioned mario interesting yeah. mario is the um host of a game show on game show network which is based <laughs> on this game that and, is crazy uh, the two games are slightly different the play pattern is slightly different i reached out to the producer of the blank slate game show today and i couldn't reach her so i don't know they're just kind of ending the uh last or the uh, last episodes of the first season Call Falling back. <laughs> but the way this works is it's a great family game and it's super easy. There's a card with a blank or a, a blank, I'm sorry, a card with a blank behind the word or in front of the word, and you're going to write something that fills in the blank. So oh. for super blank, somebody wrote Super Mario. Now, no one matched, so that's going to be a zero. Mm -hmm. Several people oh. wrote Superman. Superman was a really popular answer. If you match several people, one point. But the sweet spot, you want to match one person only. So Supermarket gets three and Super Bowl gets oh, three. Oh, so you don't want it to be too common, but you don't want it to be very obscure. Right. You want to thread the Ooh. needle, be a little off. I was going to say um, happy yeah. blank. So happy. What birthday. Would you, Gilmore. If, yeah. Happy birthday would be really popular. Happy Gilmore so might now. be like, nobody has that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe nobody has that. So we'd be terrible at this game because you got to be yes. right down the middle. Oh, we happy, I'm middle. going with a happy hour. Oh, oh, happy hour. Yeah. So that's Perfect. A, there's 250 cards and they're double sided. So there's 500 prompts, which it's a lot of content. So That's awesome. Good. Okay, uh, and what this is, is another game cool that I pictures. invented? Um, yeah, it's a beautifully illustrated 60 card uh, deck. It's published in France, and I think it's been um, translated into a German version, uh, Portuguese, Spanish, English, and French. And it's uh, basically a trick taking game is something like uh, spades or mm -hmm. hearts. Uh, there's a lead suit, someone leads a card, and then whoever takes the trick is the person who laid the highest card. So there's four suits, and then um, the winner is not necessarily the person who has the most tricks, but you, you make a bid before the hand starts. Oh, hence you, the name prophecy? Yeah, you make a prophecy oh. or a bid about how many tricks you think you're going to take, so you assess the strength of your hand. And, it's uh, like a next level euchre yeah, with beautiful cards. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit more strategic. This is like a wild party from Uno. It's the Uno that you always yeah. loved. Yeah. But this is um, Uno with a bad attitude. This is called No Mercy. <laughs> and uh, it has 56 additional cards. And, you know, 
there used to be a card called skip. Now there's a, a card skip everybody. Wow. Uh, there used to be a draw two and a draw four. Now there's a draw four reverse. There's even a draw six and a draw 10. And these things can be stacked up. So if I play a draw four and Joe plays a draw uh -huh. six and then you play a draw uh -huh. 10, uh -huh. you might have to pick up like 20 cards if you can't. Uh -huh. yeah. Now with these like games uh -huh. that you know everyone's familiar with, like Uno, do these game makers have to continually update the game in order to keep it fresh? Well, not necessarily. I think Uno is always great just as it is. But yeah, if somebody can, can come up with a new twist to make we it have, even more enjoyable, sure, that works Uno too. attack, where they shoot them at you. Oh, the cards like go. shoot out at you. Really? Yeah. So that's even another <laughs> version that they did. Yeah, this is a Mattel product, and we're just um, talking about their product today. Um, but yeah, I'm yeah. not sure who, you know, yeah. designed that one. Super yeah. cool. And you've got one more. Yeah, yeah we've got one more. Uh, this is your Getting Old from Vango Toys. Wait, I don't like this name. I know. <laughs> you know, it's, it's made to like kind of judge if millennials are getting older. So for me... It made me feel very old. Oh, like, no. I shouldn't be buying green bananas anymore. Oh, it no. Um, but you get, you get these funny cards of, like, testing you if you're old. So this one was, like, professional athletes are all now younger than you. Oh, oh no. true. Yeah, one, that's once true. Tom Brady retired, like, oh, uh, kind of yeah. lost the it for end a while. near. Get the wheelchair. What's another yeah. one? <laughs> um, but you can redeem yourself. Redeem okay. yourself. Oh. You can, if you know the word sus, you redeem yourself. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right? Like suspect. Sus, suspect. Yeah. You're so suspicious. Yeah. So, so I, I have Sophia as our designer. Mm -hmm. She keeps me in the know with like <laughs> Riz and oh, Bussin yeah, you gotta have and the like Riz. all those words. <gasps> I love we need so, Sophia on our team, cool. too. Yeah. And I'm sure you both are like looking forward to the uh, Chicago's Toy and Game Fair. That's going to be coming up in November. It, it is. It's yeah. coming up in it's November. Awesome. Mary Cousin is the yeah. uh, founder and uh, the person who runs that yeah. whole thing and a lot of moving parts and pieces but it's here in Chicago every yeah. year and it's a good chance if someone has a great idea to, network to, to try to come yeah. and uh, get somebody to look at your idea maybe it could be you know one of these games that makes it into the market if somebody did want to create a board game how much investment up front does that Ooh. usually take this was like maybe twenty dollars oh. I went to like Hobby okay. Lobby Stop <laughs> I got some card <laughs> stock right. I had to go through the dictionary page by page to figure out like what words would work yeah. but literally I made one prototype I sent it to one company they said we're looking at a couple hundred games but we like yours and right. then after like six months they said yeah so, we're gonna yeah. do it so there you go nothing yeah, should be know. stopping you everybody wow. uh, Bob Joe thank you so much for yeah, being with us awesome. thank thank you. You. calendars Chicago's Toy and Game Fair is November 9th and 10th as we mentioned for more information just head to shytag.com or find them on Instagram and Twitter at people of play thank you gentlemen thank you guys thank